spoiler alert yo 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 what it do what it do my name is glinty tv welcome back to the channel today we're going to be reviewing resident evil 7 biohazard resident evil 7 biohazard is a 2017 survival horror game developed and published by capcom in my opinion resident evil 7 is the scariest resident evil in the series Steam has Resident Evil 7 ranked 9 out of 10. IGN has Resident Evil ranked 7 out of 10. The story starts out with Ethan Winters, who is traveling through the bayou of Louisiana, searching for his missing wife of three years, who sent him two cryptic video messages. During his journey, he comes into contact with the sadistic Baker family, who holds the key to his wife's whereabouts. Through a series of puzzles and boss fights, you have to survive in order to unlock the truth behind where Mia has spent these last three years and who the real enemy is in this story. The Bakers, the Umbrella Corporation, or your wife. In my opinion, the story wasn't predictable at all. Although I was able to guess who the antagonist was, I wasn't really quite sure until the end of the game. And then I just started to wonder like, every time I beat a boss, she's lurking right there. She's sitting right there, not moving a muscle. I started to wonder if she had anything to do with what was going on in the story. Although the game is truly terrifying, the story left me with a feeling of wanting more when it was over and it kept me at the edge of my seat. This feeling remained throughout the entire playthrough. I'll grade the story four out of five. Let's talk issues and glitches. The only issue I really, really had with this game, and it wasn't a big glitch or a big problem. I didn't mind it at all. Sometimes the AI or the monsters in the game had a tough time registering where I was. That gave me ample time to reload, switch weapons, heal, and honestly calm down. My stress level was at a high. I am truly grateful that this game is off my back. I'll be playing the DLC soon, and once it's over, I'm uninstalling. I'll give the issues and glitches a grade of 4 out of 5. Pretty much saying that there wasn't too many issues with the game. It ran smooth. It, was, it wasn't a problem at all. I feel like the controls were very, very crisp for the majority of the playthrough. I did wonder if I could adjust the speed in which I looked left and right to see if anything was behind me in terms of enemies chasing me and stuff like that. But I feel like if I would have used the quick turnaround, uh, holding back and pressing circle, I would have been able to check and watch my back a little faster, a lot more. I didn't use the function until later on in the game when the game was almost over. But it's definitely um, something that people should invest in. Uh, if you build that muscle memory earlier, it'll benefit you in the game for sure. So controls will get a four out of five. Um, they were very crisp. I felt like I could move in a direction that I wanted to in a timely manner. Graphics for me was a five out of five. The graphics definitely added to the lore of the game. I felt like I could like feel and smell the texture of the fungus that was used to create the enemies in the game. And it definitely kept me on edge. It, it made me like shiver from time to time. It was just nasty, disgusting. The graphics of like the scenery, the houses were hideous. It was perfect for a horror game or slash survivor game. They really did their thing with the graphics. No complaints. It was disgusting in a good way. It's everything you want in a, in a horror game. And most importantly, I had a blast. I had fun. Uh, four out of five as far as fun. Obviously, it's a horror game, so I was terrified. But I enjoyed the game. My community joined, uh, enjoyed the game. It was a great time. It was a great time. We got a lot of great clips. I'm looking forward to playing Resident Evil 8. That's the reason I wanted to get Resident Evil 7 off my back. But uh, five, four out of five on the fun level. I had a great time. I was scared. And that's the only reason it's not five out of five. I was terrified. <laughs> I had a great time, though, and the community really enjoyed themselves. One of the comments one of the community members left was, I played this game alongside with you. I experienced this game with you. You played it for me and with me and for that they don't have to go back and play it we uh we experienced it together so um that's a great feeling to have i also gave the fun a four out of five because this was my second attempt at a, at finishing the game 
when I first tried it, I couldn't get out of the house. I couldn't run from uh, Grandpa Baker. I was just, my anxiety level was at an all time high. So um, playing Resident Evil 4, playing Eternal Darkness on the GameCube led me to building up that confidence to play Resident Evil 7 and finally um, beating that game. Um, and I'm proud of that, I'm very proud of that. Overall, I give Resident Evil 7 Biohazard a 4.2. That falls into my champion tier um, ranking. And I do recommend this game. Definitely rec recommend this game if you have uh, a community that loves to see you scared and uh, they love, you know, they laugh. It's, it's funny. It's a good time. Uh, I laughed. I cried. Have you ever played Resident Evil 7? Is this the scariest Resident Evil in the series? If not, what's the scariest game you played? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you'd like to know what games I'm going to be playing next, what games are getting reviews, and if you'd like to suggest games, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to get post notifications. And I'll see you next time.